Alright, quick update on Nier. So, it seems like yesterday and the day before, uh, we did have a slight, slight wick below, but we more or less held uh, your 786 Fibonacci right here at the $5.54 region. Let me get rid of this... Um, let me get rid of this tool, marking the next level down. Uh, but we are having a bounce. A lot of people are getting euphoric. We're up 16% on the daily. You can see it is a sea of green in the altcoins uh, today. And I'm a contrarian trader, and I do find it quite worrying how quickly greed is returning back to the markets. Now, let's talk about what's going on. Let's hop over to the four hourly time frame. First of all, bearish trend has absolutely not changed you know since we topped out all the way up here this wasn't your all-time high but you know we had a, a macro bullish uptrend now we're having a macro bearish uptrend and since we started this bearish uptrend you can see we perfectly come back into your ema ribbons every time you know this time we even tried to pop above them so don't be surprised if you know this was from 1250 all the way up to 13 dollars don't be surprised if we do have you know a 50 cent one dollar rally above the ema ribbons the back test is really what confirms whether you're bullish or bearish so you know hypothetically speaking you do have a super super strong level of resistance coming in uh on the four hour emas coming up at nine dollars and 24 cent now you know, while I do think that the bottom is not in, this doesn't mean that we can't come up to $9.19. This also doesn't mean that we can't do something like this and, you know, where were we here? So this doesn't mean that we can't come up to $10, uh, which is... This is an orange line, so it's a Fibonacci of some sort, but I've removed it from the chart. Let's see. 786 from this. It looks like it's the 786 from this. I haven't drawn anything from here to here. Maybe the 618. No, so it is, it is the 786 of this previous move. So we, we could just be confirming this as resistance still if we do come back up to it. And, you know, if you do come up to that 786 and you get a, uh, you get a rejection, then it can get a lot, lot uglier uh, in the short term for near. So... Uh, be very very cautious i'm just going to make a bunch of quick fire updates really uh but yeah like i said there's not much volume coming in to support this bounce in terms of the bulls you hop over to the daily time frame you know we're seeing an okay amount of volume coming in today bear in mind we're only about halfway through the day so this could increase but i would just like to highlight why did we bounce yesterday first of all let's look at the dollar the us dollar is extremely bullish uh, I've been talking about this in my trading plan, but while the US dollar is rallying, I do not think it's a good idea to buy altcoins because the Federal Reserve is increasing the interest rates. This is increasing the value of the dollar because it costs more money to borrow the dollar. Ergo, the value goes up. The DXY index is breaking out against other currencies. The dollar rallying is making the stock market crash. And this, these, you know, 12 to 16 hours worth of bearish candles or i say bearish candles this was really like a micro downtrend re just not even retesting anything just kind of relaxing bull flagging out these 12 to 16 hours is what allowed the stock market yesterday to have a rally if we hop over to the nasdaq if you're exceptionally bullish on altcoins right now uh, because of the price action that we've had today and yesterday i would just like to highlight this is what you're getting bullish over this one daily candle in this you know downtrend that is what you're getting bullish over so i'd still be very cautious people forget you know everything was bullish in march and april when we were having this uptrend back to here but this was still just a lower lower high and we just confirmed this as resistance we hopped back down and continued to break down so the crypto markets move very very fast and the amount of greed right now in the markets is absolutely insane I don't think peak capitulation has come for these cryptos because I don't think peak fear has come. Peak greed. I mean, we're, we're kind of sitting at peak greed right now. And what I mean by that is, you know, crypto projects aren't innovating. All the new crypto projects are just, you know, I, I'm not talking about Nier specifically because I, I do believe Nier has at least a, a decent level of innovation above other blockchains uh, and other competitors uh, of smart contract blockchains. Um, but for example, you know, the move to earn hype right now with Gene, GST, GMT, FitFi, um, DFIT, all of these move to earns 
that none of them are innovating they're all just spewing out and riding a trend right now and it's it's the same with nfts i, I don't think people uh i don't think peak fear has really really set in because people are still buying the dip and i remember what it was like in the 2017 bear market because i was here and people forget you know you can have that bear market top come in and you can come down and you can rally 61 percent. you can rally 62 percent 58 percent 140 percent 68 percent you can have these rallies before you do have that mass capitulation and i think we're in a phase like this right now where people still have money to buy the dip people are still messaging me on twitter and instagram i'm still getting messages in the discord saying should i buy the dip on luna and ust and in my opinion that's peak peak greed i mean it it's just it's it's a failed stable coin uh that has de-pegged from a dollar you know luna went down from you know hundreds of dollars to fractions of a penny i mean luna is sitting at like i, I checked it this morning it was like 0 0.0001 or something completely decimated and all the people who've been saying for the past couple of days i'm gonna buy the dip on luna i'm gonna leverage luna i'm gonna buy an nft of a monkey i'm gonna buy an nft of a raccoon smoking a cigarette uh, and also the move to earn hype, people saying, you know, in this region, I'm going to buy a, a, a couple of hundred dollar NFT of a shoe. I mean, that is peak greed, in my opinion. I do not think the bear market bottom has come in yet, and we have not experienced the bear market yet. So uh, either we're in a completely different cycle, meaning we could be in some type of super cycle we could be about to kind of invalidate the four-year theory but as of right now four-year theory played out absolutely perfectly you can see uh you know we we had this this was a shorter cycle when bitcoin was very nascent but everyone remembers the you know the top from 2013 extrapolating extrapolating it over to 2017 this was 210 days worth of days traded this was the four year market cycle and what have we done recently well 204 days from this peak to this peak you know this is once again another four year cycle and i really do think we're in some situation like this or this where people still want to buy the dip they still want to buy the dip and we haven't come to that stage yet where no one can buy the dip and we completely capitulate i don't think we're going down to any of these levels i'm really just drawing lines on a chart not you know looking at where the price is but in my opinion people still have the money to buy the dip people are still being super super greedy on these altcoins while the fed is increasing the interest rate while the dollar is pumping while the stock market is dumping while we're entering you know a, a global recession and people still want to buy nfts of shoes and you know move to earn cryptocurrency so i i would be very very cautious i do think peak greed is still here i'm a contrarian trader you've all heard of the bitcoin fear and greed index before and people say be greedy when the bitcoin index goes down uh the fear and greed index, index goes down because when the bitcoin fear and greed index goes down to like 10 or 20 you know the bottom is normally somewhere near but at this moment in time people are still being exceptionally greedy uh, on all of these altcoins so I, I would just be slightly cautious even if we're looking at this from you know a, a fibonacci perspective an ema ribbon perspective you know you, you still have a long way to go until we've confirmed that we're in a bullish uptrend this is still a lower high even if we come up to here this is still a low, lower high from here so be careful about getting chopped out in these short-term swings i'll be the first to update you if we do break bullish uh, but in my opinion you know uh, we, we do have a long way to go uh, before a lot of these altcoins break back macro bullish that's all i've got best of luck if you're trading them anyway as always cowboy out peace